science fiction ultimately drives the way that the science industry goes towards. Out of the design of Minority Report came hundreds of patents for real life science inventions that have come out of these stories. On our projects, we tend to write these proses before we build the actual product, right? So we write almost a science fiction story about how Bob or Jill wakes up in the morning, puts on this device, and is able to study Mars more effectively as a result of that. And using that as an outline of how we're gonna build our technologies and our applications, and it helps us really direct the vision of where we wanna go. Recently, we were able to send two Microsoft HoloLens devices to the International Space Station. We had Scott Kelly make the first live ground to space station Skype call. We were able to add annotations in each other's worlds. Working with this mixed reality, augmented reality technology, we sort of stumbled upon an incredible application for NASA. And that is to visualize spacecraft and design spacecraft from the early phases all the way to manufacturing. So what we've developed is this virtual reality, um, augmented reality experience where the mechanical engineers can literally push a button from their CAD tool and all of a sudden it's now in the room with you at full scale or at any scale. You know, for the first time these mechanical engineers and the scientists and the reviewers and managers can walk around in a room together and highlight key points that hasn't even been built yet. And they can talk about issues like, well, can I fit this cable around here? Or can I fit my arm in here? Or if I stand on this truss, can I have engineers walk around it? And we just think this capability is gonna be incredible for all of NASA, all of aerospace, and potentially other industries as well.